Welcome to Midwest River Rat. I'm like really, really tired. I'm at the dam. Pretty much gonna be uh, magnet fishing. I did throw some worm out on some of my bait catching rods. See if I can't catch something and then if I catch some good bait, maybe I'll go catfish tonight. So yeah, maybe you'll see some cool treasure finding or a fish caught. Who knows? Oh, and we already got a fish. This feels like a sheep head. Yep, I think it's a sheep head. Yep, definitely a sheep head. Well, dang it. Now I might have to throw a chunk of him out on the cut bait rod. Because why not? And actually, you know what? I really should start calling these things freshwater drum. Because that's what they actually are. And of course, he swallowed it like they always do. <laughs> yep, he would definitely have to be cut bait. Because he is done for it. All right. Get the big pole out. I've only brought one because I don't really plan on fishing that hard. I want to catch some stuff with the magnet. Whoa, I got another one. Probably another sheep head. Oh, whoa. This might be a sturgeon. I think this is this is a sturgeon oh yeah I got sturgeon on can't be a super big one but I'll bet you anything it's a sturgeon should be able to get him in with this little rod though can I see him oh, no. <sighs> yep oh that's not even that it's not even as big as I thought it was. He's just fighting like a beast. Get out of the rocks. Jeez. This little guy is a fighter. Trying to tangle me up in the rocks. This is a light braid. The leader's 80 pound. Because I kept getting bit off. But man, this guy is not that big. A little laker though, I think. Oh, now I'm getting a bite on my other rod. Right there. I don't think that other rod actually got hooked up. That was a nice, oh, there's still something on that other rod. Yeah. It's a decent little, very small lake here, but. Little tiny lake here, but he'll, he was a fun fight on that little gear. All right, so, got both the worms back in the water. Calm down for a little bit. And chuck this bad boy out there with a chunk of sheep, excuse me, moon eye, or wow. Drum, freshwater drum, chunk of freshwater drum. Go for start recording. My goodness, the fish are biting out here. But this is a smaller one. No, oh, he's he's pulling. Feels like a another drum. 
We'll throw him on the stringer. Cause man, if I'm catching bait like this, it's nice out. I better go catfishing, or it'd be a darn shame. All right, time for some cut bait. Well, at least I got some cut bait. But, you know, I feel like I'm gonna get better cut bait where I'm going. It is a pretty good fishing spot. So yeah, I'm gonna pack up, go home, get the rest of my fishing gear for night fishing, and then eat something and you'll see me there. What? Get out of here. I made it to the river. Boy, this light is bright. Oof. Jeez. That was a really bright light. Got my got two cut baits out, got worm out on the bottom. So our fish just blowing up the top of the water. But I guarantee you I throw something out there on top. And they wouldn't bite. They're probably just I don't know. I moon eye. No idea. I guess Brian is coming out, so it's like 1008 but we'll see if we get any bites it'd be nice to get some other than drum for uh bait got the first fish on the worm whoa this might be a catfish it's head shaking i thought it was a sturgeon because it's starting to pull really hard but now it's head shaking <laughs> oh it bugs maybe it is a sturgeon Sturgeon. Now I gotta try and just a little guy. <sighs> gotta try to land him somewhere. Keep him up out of these weeds. I still can't get to. That is a. Now it's small. Well, got the night skunk out. Please don't flop. You're very sharp. Alrighty. I did catch fish already today. But we got the night skunk out. There you go. Alright, well. Any fish is better than no fish. All right, well, got a stick jammed in the ground. I got this light from uh, Walmart last year before my Mississippi trip. It is awesome. It's actually a battery pack, so you can plug in your phone or your GoPro or whatever to it. I try not to use it as a battery pack because I want it for a light, save the battery. For when I need it for light, but it is super, super bright. Like, it lights up everything. And I usually keep it on low setting conserve battery because it is still super, super bright that way. Oh, got another fish on worm. Feels like another sturgeon. Watching a movie on YouTube over here. <clears throat> Yep, it's another sturgeon. Not as big as the last one, but man, these little guys are really pulling. I'm gonna have to bring them over here again. Oh, dude, there's a moon eye. No way. Can you see that? That's what I want for bait. Why can't that be biting? Gosh darn it, sturgeon. I don't want you to get caught. I want that fish swimming next to you to get caught. Got it. All right. Sturgeon number two, I guess. Well, at least we're catching fish. Any fish is definitely 
better than no fish. No matter what you're catching. Boy. Oh, I'm all up underneath my other line. There we go. This might be a bigger one. He really took off with it. Well, I'm pretty sure it's a sturgeon again. But maybe we'll get a little bigger one at least. Well, he definitely don't want to come in. Oh, the bugs are tormenting me. I know he definitely is a little bit bigger. Tighten that drag up a little bit so I can actually pull him. Yeah, it's a sturgeon. Looks like it's a little bigger. It's a catfish. It is a channel. It's my first channel cat. Yeah. It wasn't even on cut bait. Yeah. Yes. My first channel cat of the year. It's not a big one. Yeah. That is awesome. I'm going to try to get him to come over here where I can land him a little better. Because he's definitely bigger than those uh, sturgeon. Come this way, buddy. I'm not going to keep you. About average for what we catch. Oh, sweet. I can get right down in the water here. Maybe a four-pounder. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> that is what I came out here for. Heck yeah, man. That just made my night. There we go. Yeah. Let go. Yeah. Let go, dude. There. That's a nice little channel cat. We're gonna weigh him just because he's the first one. I'd like to I'm going to say four and a half, just because. Oh, that was way off. Six, nine. A little over six and a half. Wow, oh, two pounds off. That's why I wanted to weigh him. So we can get an idea. Sweet. Thanks, man. Heck yeah, dude. Maybe I should have two worms out. Maybe that'd be a good idea. No, I think we're just gonna move my cut bait in closer because they'll eat oh, the right. cut bait. Little one going on again. Worm, right? Hey, look, everybody, Brian made it. Hi, guys. Oh, there it is on there. It's just chilling. So. Little sturgeon again. They're all. Kind of above average, dude. I got a, a small laker at the dam. This might be a laker. I think this isn't a laker. The other two were. The other two were uh, shovel nose. This is this is fish number four right here, man. It's yeah, it's a laker this time. Boy. I got a saw. There's. Lots of sticks behind you. Well, this Laker is putting up less of a fight than those, uh, 
And then the other ones. Oh no, now he's going. He's just rolling. <laughs> oh now now he's fighting a little bit. He's staying on top though, he's not digging. The sooner you get in, buddy, the sooner I can let you go. Fish number four since I've been out here. Oh, jeez. Calm down, buddy. And there you go. Man, I might run out of worm tonight. Well, it is chilly. It's about it's 123. I'm gonna reel in everything and head home. But it was a good day. So with that, I guess I will catch y'all on the next episode of Midwest River Rat. Peace.